now recording this meeting. Ali, you're after yes. well, Let me welcome everybody here. It's wonderful to see so many people in the Christmas spirit. Uh, we're getting all in the Christmas spirit here in Mexico. And um, it's going to be a great program. And um, before we introduce, um, we start introducing all our guests. Merry, Merry Christmas to all you boys and girls over there in Rotary Eland. <laughs> Santa has been very, very busy getting all the boys and girls packages into the sleigh. And from Rudolph, you know that Rudolph never went to school. He was elf trained. <laughs> anyway, Santa, as they say, he's a busy man. I've had Mrs. Claus helping me out all the time. And uh, Santa also has to check for their traffic control to get all of our flight plans in. So we're all going to all your homes over there in Elan. And all of that to you, it's a very short Sanderson, very, very, very busy. And I hope you have a wonderful Christmas and a happy new year. <laughs> Well, thank you for your visit, Santa. And please give uh, Mrs. Santa a big hug from us. Thank you all the wonderful work that you're doing. And I hope that you also come and visit us in Mexico. <laughs> At 12 o'clock. Okay. Bye, Santa. Bye. Good. That was a surprise. Hello, Ken. Can you turn on your camera, please? And Ali, you want to continue? I have muted everybody because we had some background noise. And so uh, we'd like to keep everybody, have their cameras stay on uh, so that we can all see what's going on. And um, Ali, you want to continue with the... Uh, now that you're you know, not, not going to be interrupted anymore. <laughs> uh, well, actually, I was going to hand it. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm uh, Ellie. <laughs> well, I don't have to introduce myself because everybody knows who I am. Maybe Chris doesn't. Um, we are, uh, I'm a, I'm a um, charter president of this club. And um, I'm, in, uh, I'm in Mexico. And in the summer, we are in Osoyos. And British greetings, Columbia. British Columbia, and greetings from uh, from Mexico. And next to me, me, you, me. Introduce yourself, please. My name is Jose Ramiro. <laughs> <laughs> Hablo español. <laughs> okay, hurry up. <laughs> Eso es todo. <laughs> that's that's all. All right. Thank you very much, uh, Mexicans. And um, my name is uh, Peter Denoy, and I will uh, go down the list. Again, I'd like to ask you all to keep your cameras on, but I have muted you all. So when I ask you to introduce yourself, please unmute and introduce a little bit about yourself and where you are. I am in the Dominican Republic and no, I am not in jail. This is uh, the, the, the bars behind you is just common here to keep uh, certain people out, not others in. So um, I am a member for a year and a half now of this club and uh, spent most of my time in the Dominican Republic. Next, David, could you please introduce yourself and your wife? <laughs> Hello, all. Yes, uh, I'm David. I've been 25 years. We're in Cochrane, Alberta, um, and uh, just down into the deep breeze after going out and getting our, cutting our tree when it was plus 10, and today it's about 20 degrees less than that. And of course, my uh, able assistant here by my side, Sharon. Thank you. 
All right. Thanks very much. James Ferguson, who the hell are you with that thing on your head? Hi, everybody. Um, Chris, I don't think we've met before. Uh, my name is Jim Ferguson. I'm a past president and charter member of the Rotary e Club of Canada One. Uh, we live, this is my wife, Jocelyn. Hi, everyone. We live at uh, Skeleton Lake, which is about two hours northeast of Edmonton. And uh, recently I found out that I'll be representing the E-Club of Canada One as the district governor nominee designate for 2020 to 2021. So here's to the awesome. E-Club. Here's to Thank Jim. you very much, James. And, and I think in the history of uh, district governors, it's probably the first time that a member of an e-club is actually going to be district governor. So um, kudos so. to you, Jim, and uh, all the best with that. And, and uh, you, can, you can trust us. We'll be behind you all the way, even if we're in the Dominican Republic or Mexico. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Next, Delvin, can you introduce yourself, please? Me, or am I unmuted now? Yeah, you did that. You have to do that yourself, you know. All right. Uh, well, Merry Christmas and, and season's greetings to all of you. Uh, tonight, at Doug's request, I am dressed up as a lord. And I did my leap already, for those of you who missed it. So I'm a lord of leaping <laughs> tonight. Um, and it's great, to, uh, it's great to join you all. And uh, I'm looking forward to um, being reinstituted. Oh, I'm, I'm speaking to the uh, by the way, where we've had the snow just start to fall as of about four o'clock this afternoon. And uh, we probably have about five centimeters and it's, and it's growing out there. So we're going to have a white Christmas here in Chilliwack. Thanks, Delvin, and welcome back again. Bruce. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I agree. Completely, totally. Thank you very much. Doug. Yeah, thanks, Peter. Uh, I'm Doug Dyer. I'm uh, currently in the coastline, Mexico, uh, past president and charter member of the club. And uh, I'm the uh, nomadic wanderer of the club. We've been traveling nonstop for 18 months and, and uh, we'll continue to uh, post from remote locations. Thank cool. you very much. Jean Michel. Good evening, everybody. I'm uh, Jean Michel Crepin, also a charter member of this club. And I'm living in Calgary, where it is snowing right now and minus five. And I, it's a pleasure to be with everybody today. I'll be in Mexico in two days. Good to you. <laughs> awesome, Jean-Michel. Chris, can you introduce yourself, please? Yeah, um, if you hear kids, it's because I'm at my sister's house in Ontario. Um, just, I just got here this afternoon, so I, I'm sorry to be missing all the snow back in Alberta, David. <laughs> I hear it's a little bit of a gong show. Uh, I'm Chris Harper. I've been, in Rota I've been in Rotary since I was 27, and I'm, uh, I just turned 36 years old, so I've been there almost 10 years now, and um, I was on the board of the Rotary Club of Calgary. Um, I chaired the District 5360 Communications Committee, um, and I did a lot of stuff at our club while I was there, which is really good, but uh, I'm happy to be a member of the e-club where I think it'll better accommodate my professional career in consulting where I don't exactly have a standard place that I'm constantly uh, found, which makes attendance difficult, but I'm a chronic volunteer, which is what got me into Rotary. Um, and uh, I'm pursuing my master's degree and I, as I said, do consulting for work. I'm glad you have that disease. That's awesome. Uh, Nishant, please introduce yourself. Yeah, 
you're still muted. There we go. Okay. Good evening, everyone. Um, my name is Nishin Bajaj, and I'm serving as service project chair this year in our club. Um, I live in uh, Waterloo, Ontario, and uh, the weather is uh, becoming a little warm here, so not seeing snow yet. So hoping for white Christmas this year, and uh, welcome, Chris. Welcome to our club, and thanks, everyone. Thank you, Nishin. Ken, are you able to let us know where you are? Well, I'm doing my... Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Uh, it's nice to be back, but I seem to be in the dark right now. Uh, <laughs> my first time on Zoom. Merry Christmas, everyone. Um, I do have a Christmas hat on. I'm playing hard here trying to get video working for me. Um, my name's Ken Hunter. I've kind of I've been away for a little while. Um, it's nice to see a lot of good faces. I'm I seem I think I'm coming back here now, and um, I'm looking forward to uh, having some good discussions with everyone. Uh, it's nice to see some great faces, and hopefully I can get this camera going so I can wave hello. So I'm I'm Ken, and I'm in the dark still, and it is snowing. Um, who was that down there? Is that David down there? Who's well, who's in Chilliwack? Hello, Delvin. Um, Delvin is Calvin, oh, our judge, um, the lawyer. Yes, it's not. Uh, it's raining out here in Langley, so it is white, but it is it is raining here. So Merry Christmas, everyone, and I'm working awesome. on my camera. Thanks, Ken. Welcome, Noberto. Hello, everybody. Merry Christmas. I'm Osberto Lu from uh, Guatemala, uh, but actually I'm living in, um, in Ottawa. Uh, here's my wife, Sylvia. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. And we're having a uh, really warm weather in Ottawa, mm -hmm. like a one Celsius degree, just. One Celsius. So, yeah, one Celsius, yeah. Uh, it seems to be like, uh, like Mexico, I guess. <laughs> almost. <laughs> <laughs> almost like that. So nice to be with you again. and. Uh, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Merry Christmas. Awesome. Yeah, thank you very much. Now, we will continue with the program, but we're going to do something different and uh, be ready to choose. We are going to have some quizzes here and there popping up. And uh, so I um, um, will uh, show you, um, you know, the first question and you can please answer that choose one of the three and um, if you, uh, then we can show you as soon as that is done, I can, uh, I can let you know what the results are. So, um, all right, we need more. We have 12 participants. I'm not voting, so there should be 11 votes coming up. We have... Uh, six but we're not going to go too long otherwise it will hold i will have a maximum of about 55 seconds for uh, reporting of that too so all right thank you and immediately i can share the results so you can see what the results are and um it's nazareth indeed so um good you keep score yourself because I'm not doing that whatsoever. Thank you very much, Ellie. Next part of the program is Delwyn, yes. I think. It is my pleasure to introduce Delvin Stander. And Delvin is a former member of his club, of this club, and he is going to be re-inducted if we actually get uh, our inductor to uh, log in to our program tonight. And uh, Delvin uh, has a little, Delvin is a laureate poet. And um, Delvin, please um, welcome. Where did he go? There. Yeah. Thanks, Ellie. Um, I always like to give a bit of an introduction. Um, so let me give this by way of an introduction. 
I try and make our Christmas poem themed um, in accordance with the Rotary theme for the year. And as you know, our, our theme this year uh, is making a difference, Rotary making a difference. So the poem that I've written is entitled Rotary Making a Difference. I also like to incorporate into our poem something of a club flavor. And um, what I did uh, when I was asked to do the poem this year was I checked with our president to see where our members are scattered around the earth. And I've tried to incorporate as many of their locations as possible, including our honorary Rotarian, Anna. Um, and Anna, of course, uh, is in Africa. And uh, she's living a very interesting and challenging life. And I've also tried to um, incorporate one of my favorite topics, which is the eradication of polio. And uh, I remind everybody that if you go on the Rotary International website right now and look, you can see that we're willing to declare two of the three wild viruses dead in the world. And the remaining third virus is, you know, remember we used to have that, it's this close? Well, it's, it's this close. It's so small. There are only two countries reporting the third wild virus anymore. And uh, in that regard, I will point out that we should all be doing whatever we can to get us the last way to get those last two countries wrapped up. And I don't know if you can all see this. Can you all see that? Yeah. Okay. That, during the year, um, my staff and I wear jeans on Friday and we all chip in towards Polio Plus. And when I do notarizations, I tell people to, instead of paying me to donate to Polio Plus. So this year it was a little over 400 grand, uh, sorry, $400. And we just uh, rounded it up to 500. So I urge everybody to uh, donate to Polio Plus so we can get us the last bit of the way. So with that in mind, um, here's the uh, Rotary Christmas poem. And I'm happy to send it to the webmeister if you want to see it in written form as well. So uh, Rotary Christmas Poem 2017, Rotary Making a Difference, and it's a sonnet. No matter where you are across this world, you'll find a thoughtful person there whose care connected is with that bold flag unfurled, a blue and golden wheel it's known to bear. See, there they are in Panama's south climb, or north in Canada and Germany, in west of USA, Russia's east time, America Central, or out at sea. Yes, when these members go to plant some trees in Mexico's sweet, warm, and scented breeze, and those in England fun to end disease of polio, and Anna brings her sense while under fire in Africans' defense, rotary is making a difference. Merry Christmas, all. Very good. Thank you. Thank you, Dylan. While we are waiting for Mr. Governor, oh, not a poll. Do we have another poll? Yeah. Okay. You already got that one. I know. Um, this is my first time on how to do this, so well, but I'm going to continue. Expert. <laughs> I know. Is that true? <laughs> this gives me a chance to do the next one. Oh, boy. Okay, no question. <laughs> 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 See, I will have to play with it some more. So. so, Ellie, what do you want to do? You want to just start introducing the members? Uh, well, actually, what I think we should do, if Dalvin is prepared, we'll get him to do uh, Anna's message first. Because I'm, uh, I'm in contact with uh, Frank and so is Jim. And 
unless you have only still working on, it, on another quiz question. Yeah, I can try that. Let me let me play yeah. with that too. And then uh, if Delvin wants to do, I'm gonna, if, yeah, if Delvin, I'm muting you because we got some background sound coming from your place too. Let me try this. Uh, try this again. Uh, oh no, you in questions? No, we did that again. Yeah, those that knew already. That's very good. We'll end this part. There we go. Question number two. There it is. When I, um, okay, I'm not reading it. You yeah. just have to read it and pick one number. <laughs> you want to sing the song? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no, you're not going to be, be able to sing it fast enough to know that. We're going to be knowing the answer to this later on this evening, for sure. Well, you still have to pay more extra attention for that. I should be able to guess twice, one for me and one for Ramiro. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sorry, but we're not set up for that. He should okay. log into his own computer. That's that, and here's the result. Six. So, it is number six. What did I miss? There are six types of birds in there, so. Would you name them, please? <laughs> Partridge? No. Next question. Okay. Who played Patch? Must have been more than oh. Yeah, you can mute yourself. <laughs> Silence. Mm hmm. All right. Now we got some a little bit more time. Maybe you should sing okay, in the meantime. So. should have some uh, Christmas music playing in the meantime. Here we are. Well, the correct answer is Dudley Moore. Oh, really? It was not Robin Williams. Robin oh. Williams played Dr. Patch in the movie. He's the doctor with the red nose thing on, but he, that is the, I forget the name of the movie now, but that's what uh, where Robin, Millions plays Dr. Patch, where Dudley Moore did Patch in this uh, movie. Now, good. Okay. Next. So we can move on. Uh, yes, let's please. Give, let's give uh, District Governor Frank a little, a few more moments. He's he's on his way. Is his reindeer? His reindeer got stuck in the Alberta snow. You got a flat tire. <laughs> So, Delwyn, if you're ready to... Uh, I lost Delwyn. We lost Delwyn. You want me to read about Anna? Ellie? Anna, please. Are you ready for that? Yeah. yeah, Ellie, would you like me to do the update on Anna? Yes, please go ahead. Okay. Um, now, I, I don't know if, if many of you remember, but I alluded it to it in the poem that the last time we heard from Anna, she was actually bunkered down uh, in a shelter and her base was being mortared <laughs> by uh, by mortar fire so may i interrupt for a moment so yeah i think some of our members may not know if we could give a little bit of a background Hi, history about anna how and what and who is who anna who is anna a lot okay, of them i'll start at the beginning then for some of our newer members um uh, Anna was formerly um, a receptionist in my law firm, and uh, over the course of about four or five years, she went from first going to Africa to teach in an orphanage, to then going over to Africa with some rotary funds and starting up um, some school buildings and a computer lab in Ghana. And then um, uh, at my old club, she was proposed for an ambassadorial scholarship uh, in the days when there was a pure ambassadorial scholarship to be had, 
and she won uh, the nomination and she went off to Ghana to do a degree in international relations at the University of Accra. And um, after graduating, she's had a very interesting life with uh, both the UN and other organizations, NGOs. And most recently, for the last two years, she's been in the South Sudan, which you know is one of our, our world's newest countries. Uh, it broke away from Sudan as, as a whole and became South Sudan. Uh, so um, she's, she's been in Liberia, uh, helping out with uh, Ebola victims. Uh, she's been in Sierra Leone, but right now she's in South Sudan. And at one stage um, last year, she, as I say, was actually under mortar fire uh, and um, had her life in peril, but she's still there. And I asked her for an update that I could share with the club at our Christmas fellowship here. So uh, I will read it to you. She says, Hi Delwyn, I am still in South Sudan, coming up on my two-year anniversary. I'm still working for the UN World Food Program and still working on food security. Now I manage two programs, one program helping households to produce their own foods and build resilience to shocks like floods or drought, and the other program on capacity enhancement of smallholder farmers and cooperatives. Somehow I have become a semi-agriculturalist, which I guess makes sense given my Chilliwack roots. And then I, she says that uh, she would have loved to have joined us, but um, our 5 p.m. Uh, on West Coast time here is actually 4 a.m. in the morning in Juba, South Sudan, and uh, she's on her way on a field mission that day or today right now as we're speaking. Uh, she's also uh, going to sneak away at the end of this year to Cape Town uh, for a quick holiday, so I gave her some uh, tips on what to do when she's in Cape Town. Uh, but she continues to live the most fascinating of lives, and uh, I know I speak for all of us when I say we're very proud to have her as an honorary member of the club. That's it. Thank you, Delwyn. Thank you for keeping in touch with her. It would be nice to have um, to have her again one of these days as a, as a live presentation or a video presentation. That would be wonderful. Uh, in the meantime, uh, I would like Frank has arrived. I'm just uh, texted him to ask him to unmute himself and turn on his video, but before I do that, I would like to ask our district governor nominee designate to introduce our district governor. Yeah, I just need to figure out how to get my camera on. Do you see a camera anywhere on your screen? Bottom left. That should be on the bottom left in the bar. Does it say start video? No, stop video, start video. Yeah, that's it. Okay. And there you are. There he is. Boom, yeah. Did you recognize yourself? Very Hello, good. everybody. Well, it's hard. <laughs> yeah, I do. Thank you. Awesome. <coughs> Welcome. Pleasure to be yeah. here, finally. I don't know if I can sit here for very long. Yeah, it's my, my pleasure to, to welcome our District Governor, Frank, uh, District Governor of uh, 2017 to 2018. I had the pleasure of joining uh, Frank and Barb to uh, visits to Rotary Clubs in my area, Area 4. And um, I can tell you there's nobody that's harder working than, than Frank and Barb. Um, I've got a lengthy resume that I'll read to you uh, that shows his a corporate commitment. Uh, so Frank is married to Barb, who is also a Rotarian. They have two children and 14 grandchildren. Uh, Barb is a nurse educator. Uh, Frank is a realtor with Remax since 1996. And together they have lived in Fort McMurray for about 45 years. Uh, positions that Frank have held include the vice president of the Fort McMurray Real Estate Board, the chair of the Wood Buffalo Builders Association from 1998 to 2002, 
Uh, Frank is a past director of the Fort McMurray Family Crisis Society. Uh, he's a chair of the Community F Futures Wood Buffalo Board from 2009 to uh, 2015. Uh, Frank is a past member of the Fort Murray Kinsman Club from 1973 to 1984. And he served as deputy governor for 11 Kinsman Clubs in northeastern Alberta. From 1986 to 1992, Frank chaired the men's night program at the Miskinaw Golf Course and later served as president and board chair. Uh, Frank joined Rotary in 2001 and served as membership chair for three years, club president in 2005 to 2006, and assistant governor from 2008 to 2011. He's the director of the Rotary Links at uh, Wood Buffalo, a Fort McMurray Rotary Golf Course project. Both Barb and Frank are multiple Paul Harris Fellows. They both have attended eight district conferences, three Zone 24 and 32 assemblies, one international assembly and five international conventions. And they've hosted numerous Rotary Youth Exchange students and have visited with them and their families uh, overseas in Europe. So it's my great pleasure to, to uh, welcome Frank to our uh, Christmas celebration. And uh, so welcome, Frank, on behalf of the E-Club. Welcome. And Barb as well. It, it's, a, it's a pleasure to finally get here. I, uh, I have known about Zoom and I've been aware of it and I've spoken about Zoom. And uh, tonight I forgot all about Zoom for, uh, for the E-Club. And so uh, it took me a few minutes to get, to get some, uh, some information back. And so it's, it is a pleasure to, and thank you, Jim. And it, and it is a pleasure to, uh, to actually get here and, and attend, and I, uh, oh, I'm <laughs> a gonna, Christmas toast. I'm going to have to sneak off to my own little cabinet. <laughs> you you missed Santa's visit. <laughs> <laughs> no, I see him right behind you. <laughs> oh, that's a different Santa. Okay. Uh, I'm very happy that you're here, Frank, and uh, you will be doing, uh, you will be inducting two of our new members. Okay. And as the membership chair, I have the pleasure of introducing one of our members on behalf of his sponsor. And I have a little bit of a PowerPoint here and I will share my screen. And there's the PowerPoint. Share the screen. And I have to lift it up. Oh. View the slideshow, there we go. Excellent. So it is my pleasure uh, to reintroduce Delvin Stanber, Stander to our club on behalf of his sponsor and friend, Sharon Blaker, who could not be here tonight. Delvin was president of the Chilliwack Rotary Club in 2004, 2005, when Sharon uh, joined that club. And Sharon told me that, that Delvin was a great inspiration to her. Delvin, look at what a cute, beautiful <laughs> baby. He was born in Port Alice, British Columbia. He was raised and educated in over 12 cities and towns in Rhodesia, South Africa, and Canada. After working as an insurance underwriter, a broker, and an agent, and briefly, briefly as the owner of a construction company, he obtained both a BA and an LLB from the University of British Columbia. Delvin articled and practiced with a Vancouver a law firm for six years before leaving in 1994 to start a law firm in the Fraser Valley. He has since started a virtual law, uh, law firm, Stender & Company. Delvin is married to Veronica and they have two children and a daughter-in-law and two little grandchildren, granddaughters. Delvin enjoys sport and you can see that he loves his little grandchildren and he loves food. You see that too? <laughs> it shows. <laughs> 
Delvin is a friend, so he doesn't mind if I say that. Delvin enjoys sports, his dogs, wine, traveling, and spending time with his family. Not necessarily in that order. Another one of Delvin's hobbies is bees. Uh, beekeeping, yes. Uh, as I mentioned, Delvin uh, loves traveling. And he has visited many countries, including Iceland, Ireland, and I'm sure many, many more of which I am not aware. Sharon is really looking forward to working with Delvin again on our Rotary <coughs> initiatives. So please give Delvin a warm Rotary welcome after he has been officially inducted by Frank. By Frank. And uh, Sharon and Phil sending their uh, season's greeting for all of you. Now, how do I un un unshare? Okay. There. Yeah. And nope. then I invite uh, David to introduce Christopher Harper. We do both at the same time. Yes. And then you can do the induction. Wonderful. David, David and Chris, uh, you're also showing your... Uh, yeah. yeah, Chris and David are both on. Yeah. Go ahead, David. Okay. It's um, my pleasure to introduce um, Chris Harper to the uh, uh, Rotary Club of E-Canada One. Um, as mentioned before, um, Chris was a uh, the club of Calgary, joined in 2009, and uh, he lives in Airdrie, Alberta, which is just north of uh, Calgary, although Thunder Bay, I believe, uh, Chris, <coughs> he's nodding his head, um, and uh, he's a business consultant, he's uh, done various um, Things in the, with the Rotary Club of um, of um, uh, Calgary, and um, his business uh, activities are such that uh, he felt that joining an E Club he could um, better contribute. So I uh, welcome, uh, please welcome uh, Chris Harper. Well, thank you, David. Thank Thank you all, um, and and thank you, uh, Ellie, and and everyone for inviting me. Uh, Delvin and Christopher, you are both Rotarians from what E clubs refer to as Terra clubs. As such, you are probably familiar with the objects of Rotary and the four-way test. What may be new and exciting is your instant and diverse family of Rotarians from different parts of the world, all in the same club. Truly a global experience just waiting for your contributions in your outlook. You have been proposed to join this club by members who believe that you carry out your personal and business activities in a manner consistent with Rotary ideals and the values of the E-Club. Members of this Rotary Club have added their endorsement of your proposal. As you know, Rotary is an international organization of business and professional people with Rotary clubs all over the world. When one is invited to join Rotary, he becomes a member of a worldwide family. You can travel throughout most of the world and find a Rotary club within easy distance. Rotarians will welcome you warmly, even though the language may be different, the food unusual, and the location far from home. In this club, however, you may need to travel to a faraway location just to meet one of your own club members. There's always a lot to learn about Rotary. It's not just another club, but because of the nature of the e-club, the learning curve is a bit different because all of your projects could be considered local. Attending the weekly meetings also should be very easy, just surf in. The object of Rotary remains to encourage and foster the ideal of service as a basis of, of, of worthy enterprise and in particular to encourage and foster first the development of acquaintance as an opportunity for service, second high ethical standards in business and professions, the recognition of the worthiness of all useful occupations and the dignifying by each Rotarian 
of his occupation as an opportunity to serve society. Third, the application of the ideal of service by every Rotarian to his personal, business, and community life. And fourth, the advancement of international understanding, goodwill, and peace through a world fellowship of business and professional persons united in the ideal of service. I know that you will, uh, <clears throat> you will uh, uh, carry out your, uh, your, your personal and your business uh, professional uh, vocations uh, by following what, what Rotarians consider the four-way test of all the things you, we think, say, or do. First, is it the truth? Second, is it fair to all concerned? Third, will it build goodwill and better friendships? And fourth, will it be beneficial to all concerned? And I charge you to always remember Rotary's motto, service above self. Congratulations, Rotarians Delwin and Christopher. You are at this moment the newest Rotarians in the world and a great asset to the e-club that, that we all know so well for the work that it's done. Mm. Welcome and congratulations. Thank you. Oh, good. I would like now to invite uh, uh, President Lynn gave her regrets. She would not be able to attend tonight. So I am inviting the next person in line who will be president after Lynn um, has done her extra three months of presidency. And that's past president Bruce Kleeberger. <laughs> Hi, Bruce. Hi, Bruce. Hello, everybody. Uh, so I've been invited, um, and it's nice to be invited. It's certainly nice to be included, and I invite you all in return. And uh, I'm, I'm guessing, Ellie, you would like me to welcome the new members? Yes, please. Oh, welcome, Chris. <laughs> welcome. And... Uh, we, we always know that Mr. Stander also is always welcome. <laughs> welcome. Thanks, Bruce. Both, both of our new members have already been assigned a mentor as well as a position. I think Delwyn is going to be working with Andre in foundation. And Chris, actually, we would very much like to see him uh, involved in uh, public relations or communications as he has done in his, uh, or still does maybe, and is in his former district. So that's something, uh, uh, David is Chris's mentor, and Sharon is um, Delvin's mentor. Uh, in some cases, a new member doesn't necessarily mean, need a mentor, and then you assign a buddy to that person. So <laughs> welcome to both of you. Thanks, good to be back. <laughs> All right, awesome. Well, we're going to continue with, uh, before we do next, have a few, for those that are new, have a look at that. You will see a question and you have to pick one answer. Uh, can you guys? Yeah, here we go. Baby, we need your call. Of course, there has to be a, there has to be a veterinary question in there too. You know, <laughs> if I put it together, that has to do something with animals, of course. <laughs> so. Why? Yeah. I, 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 this is a oh. trick one, Peter. I prefer, them when I prefer them when there's only a single choice. <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> What can I say? You're, where do you live? Fort McMurray? You only have one choice, going south. <laughs> All right, here we are. We're finished. And um, sharing the results. Can you see them yet or not? Is it working? Yes. Can yeah. you see the results? Yeah. yeah. Can you see them? Can you see them? Yeah. We saw, we saw yeah. Them. Well, what is the right answer? Down. The right answer? Is calf. Oh, no. It is a calf. Really? Huh. It's a reindeer. Okay. Trick question. You know, I don't like quizzes, but I really like putting them together. Ever since I started teaching students at Nate, and they hated me. 
for it because they all remember me by my exam from way back when. Okay, one more question before we go on. And um, which curve was composed by James? How about this one? <laughs> I, I got everybody unmuted, so you can say whatever you want. <clears throat> hmm. This is Carol. Jingle bells. Jingle bells. Jingle bells is in the Carol. My workshop. Just people give the book. Jingle bells. You must have got okay. Not the old one. You're in the radio. Oh, okay. We can. Everybody can hear you now. <laughs> so we can copy the questions. That's okay. <laughs> good. 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 All right. There we go. We're finished with that. And here are the results. Well, everybody got something voted, but it's jingle bells. Oh, good. Jingle bells. Yes. Yeah. And I, I will now reveal where all these questions, where, where I got all these questions from, <coughs> because I came up with the idea to use the polling system that Zoom offers to do some questions so that everybody can see how nicely this works. You can even put a poll together during a meeting. But uh, last Wednesday, I visited the East Anglia Club online in the United Kingdom, and they were celebrating their Christmas party. And one of the members had 46 questions for their members to write down the answers and then do the four-way test. And, and so I said, well, this is just great. Can you send me all the questions with the answers, please. And she did. So I, it took me half an hour to put this thing together. And uh, the fun part of it is to find alternative answers to the proper question, uh, to the proper answers as such too. So, so I don't take credit uh, for this at all, but um, I'm, uh, I'm quite pleased. I have a few more yet for when we, uh, we are finished up with our, uh, our next segment of uh, uh, our program, which is gonna be Doug's performance or something like that. Ellie? Uh, yes, yes, I am. Uh, I'm still uh, looking at the questions. I can't believe it was Jingle Bells. I would like to hear that uh, version in the 1800s. This was quite different probably, very slow. Uh, yes, it is my pleasure tonight to introduce my dear friend, Doug Dyer, all the way. Actually, he's my closest neighbor right now in Mexico. Oh. And uh, Doug is going to have um, some nice activity for you. So please stick around and participate. No, too late to go to the bathroom. Uh, well, thank you, Ellie and uh, Peter and... And all this is this is really quite exciting because this is uh, the first time this has ever been tried on Zoom, and it's uh, it's a partic participatory event. It's not my event; it's, it's our event, and it's the first annual 12 Days of Christmas e, e Club 12 Days of Christmas presentation. So uh, we're going to have some fun with this. And uh, <laughs> look at Frank. Frank. Hey Frank, uh, you're you're actually in, you're in the play. You don't know it yet, but you're in the play. <laughs> uh, so everybody, every, I know everybody knows the song. They've they've been memorizing it for weeks, and uh, everybody knows their parts. Uh, what we're going to do is first of all go through the parts. And uh, Frank, could I ask you to actually take on uh, twelve drummers drumming? It's probably the easiest piece of all. <laughs> song because you only actually go through it once. All you have to do is do 12 drummers drumming and it's all about timing. Yeah, you. <laughs> hey, thanks, Frank. Frank. I know how to recruit. Doug, right, I, I am so sorry. I announced earlier that I would introduce the members that came in late. Oh, okay. And I forgot to do that. Do so that if you don't mind, we'll just do that because we have two more people that okay. yeah, go ahead. since sure. and uh, both um, John and Undina, would you please, uh, starting with John, would you introduce yourself, please? Where you're from, who you are? 
Hi, I'm, I'm John K. Um, I'm currently in Blaine, Washington, um, where we can't believe it, but it's been snowing all day. And we are totally unprepared for this. So the place is a mess. Um, anyway, uh, I'm a director of the Club of Canada One. Um, I've been a member for about four years, and it's been a very rewarding experience. Thank you, John. Undina. Undina. Hi, uh, hi, everyone. I guess it's my turn. Um, I'm Undina Miller, a new director. I, um, I'm also introducing Mark, my hubby, who is my rock, and uh, he keeps me level-headed. And uh, uh, I'm really excited about tonight. Thank you. And where are you calling from? I'm call oh, I'm calling from snowy Chilliwack. Chilliwack, BC. And nice to meet you, Mark. Nice to and meet you. And we're so Thank happy you. to have Ondine in our club. She's wonderful. Oh, and next year she'll be a director. Yeah, that's good, huh? Thank you all. So uh, go ahead, please. Sorry for the interruption. No problem, Ellie. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll find you later. But uh, we've got a great group here tonight, and, and uh, this is going to be a lot of fun. I've, I've, se I've seen this performed once live at a road. I was telling Peter this afternoon that this was done at my Campbell River Rotary Club, which was a stoic bunch of old guys sitting in chairs and, and they came in and did the 12 days of Christmas and they performed it and it was the funniest most hilarious event I've, I've seen at, at a Christmas party so so we're going to try it here tonight live on zoom and uh, uh, everybody's been assigned a part and uh, uh, we're just going to go over those for starts and then we'll, we'll listen to the song once we'll play it through so we get our timing it's about timing and uh, and having some fun and some creativity we also know that we, we might have uh, lag to deal with. So who knows what's going to happen. But just keep in mind that Peter is recording this. So it could, it could may well go viral. So <laughs> give it your very best, OK? We are about to It's time to rise, E-Club. <laughs> OK, so our first person up who's done a great job is Nishint. And, and she is the, the partridge in the pear tree. Hi, Nishin. Hi. Okay. Okay. And then uh, number two up is uh, Romero and Ellie, and they're the two turtle doves. Right? <clears throat> Ready? You know your okay. Uh, I'm, I'm number three up. I'm uh, three French hens. <laughs> <laughs> no. Now, I, rubber chickens. I, 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 must, I must confess, you know, <laughs> the truth be known, they're actually Mexican chickens. So, but <laughs> tonight they're going to be three French hens. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, uh, our future assistant district, our, our, this, our future district governor, uh, James, Jim, is going to be uh, the four calling birds. You up for that, Jim? For sure. That's beautiful. Okay. <laughs> and then uh, Ramiro is uh, five golden rings. <laughs> okay. Uh, there's a sausages. They okay. look like sausages. <laughs> uh, Ramiro, remember, you got to sing that part, right? Five golden rings. <laughs> Everybody, you have to sing your part when it comes to it. That's, that's the other key, right? <laughs> or, or at least call it out. Uh, now President Bruce uh, is is uh, filling as as six feet of laying. Beautiful. Is that an six original? Six feet of laying, which happen to look a lot like presidents <laughs> of the E Club. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, uh, Ken Ken yeah. is here in the dark. He is uh, seven swans of swimming. In the dark. In the dark. <laughs> <laughs> I'll fix and, it, guys. Yeah. Uh, and, and, Let's go with it. And Dean is uh, uh, eight maids of milking. <laughs> Beautiful. Eight maids of milking. Uh, Peter, uh, 
is uh, our eight, there's our nine ladies dancing. They're over there on their shoulder. He's hired some dancing ladies for tonight. Uh, our, our returning member, uh, Delwyn, is uh, 10 Lords of Leaping. <laughs> 10? Ten leaps. You're gonna, have, you're gonna have to imagine that there are ten of me. <laughs> where, where would where would you want ten lords to leap? Right, that's the big question. Uh, uh, David and Sharon are the uh, eleven pipers piping. Who's David? You got it, David. Right here. <laughs> All right. And and we uh, we've recruited a uh, uh, Frank to do the twelve drummers drumming. Frank and, and actually Ann Bard because she's here as well. Okay. <laughs> well, that's not that's two drummers drumming. Oh well. <laughs> that's good. We should have okay. given up the grandkids. There would have been twelve right there. There you go. Okay. <laughs> well, so the way this is gonna work, I'm gonna play the song through once just so we know what it sounds like. And we're gonna go ahead and I'll, I'll lead it off. And uh, when you get to your part, all you have to do is be able to count to twelve, you know, forwards <laughs> and backwards. And, and, and know when your part is and sing three, three, sing three words. Theoretically, That's it. Theoretically, That's it's it? Work. We've, got, we've got some intelligent people here, and, uh, uh, and I'm, okay. sure this is, I'm sure that we're going to pull this off, and it's going to be an absolute masterpiece. Uh, let's, let's listen to the song once through. Go. Just a minute. Be patient with me. On the first day. I'll have it in a second here. Just a second. I actually have background noise tonight too because I am in Mexico. There's lots of stuff going on on the street. Here we go. On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me a partridge in a pear tree. On the second day of Christmas, my true love gave to me two turtle doves and a partridge in a pear tree. On the third day of Christmas, my true love gave to me three French and two turtle doves and a partridge in a pear tree. On the fourth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me Four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves And a partridge in a pear tree On the fifth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me Five golden rings Four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves And a partridge in a pear tree Sixth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me six geese laying five golden rings. Four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. On the seventh day of Christmas, my true love gave to me seven swans a swimming. Six geese laying five golden rings. Three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. On the eighth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me eight maids are milking, seven swans are swimming, six geese are laying, five golden rings, four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. Nine ladies dancing, eight maids are milking, seven swans are swimming, six geese are laying, five golden rings, four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. On the tenth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me. 
Ten lords are leaving, nine ladies dancing, eight maids are milking, seven swans are swimming, six geese are laying, five golden rings, four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. On the eleventh day of Christmas, my true love gave to me eleven pipers piping. Ten lords are leaping, nine ladies dancing, eight maids are milking, seven swans are swimming, six geese are laying, five golden rings, four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. On the twelfth day of Christmas, my true love came to me, twelve drummers drumming. Eleven pipers piping, ten lords are leaping, nine ladies dancing, eight maids are milking, seven swans are swimming, six geese are laying, five golden rings, four golden birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a pie. Okay, so uh, we all know the song. Um, we all, yeah. know, we all know our parts. Yeah. The, camera, the cameras are rolling. Uh, <laughs> any any last questions? <laughs> uh, we, I can't share the screen, so we're not going. We're going to be singing a cappella. On the first day of Christmas, my turn. Who's that? <laughs> Where'd that come from? Are, are, you gonna play the, okay. are you gonna play the music? On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me. me. The a shin. partridge in a pear tree. tree. On second day of Christmas, my true love gave to me. To Turtle and a partridge, and a partridge in, in a pear tree. Third day of Christmas, my true love gave to me three French hens. Three turtle doves. Two turtle doves. Two turtle doves. And a partridge in a pear tree. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> cut, what are we doing? Music. Cut the music. Cut the music. Cut, the music. Let's, let's start it. With, we're, we're falling behind, but we can do it. We can do this. Yeah, keep going. On the fourth day of Christmas, my true love said to me. No, no, no. No, no, we got it. Falling birds. No. <laughs> Who's playing <laughs> Peter? Yeah, what? Can you cut the music? What music? No music. No music. No music. Nobody's hearing the music? No. no. Oh, oh, my God. God. <laughs> 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 did you destroy you your iPad? Are you hearing voices? Oh my God! Oh, Doug, are you hearing voices? Oh my God! Okay. <laughs> You're trying oh to blame this on me. You said oh, you were God. playing the iPad. Oh, I, gotta, I, gotta, I gotta tell you. The microphone. <laughs> oh my God! Only I was hearing the music. <laughs> so Doug has an excuse. He said he oh, said he had a massage this what, afternoon. What a nightmare! He had okay. a massage. <laughs> And now okay. he there is there a psychiatrist in the house? Yeah, we can do it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 Rehearsal's over. The now we're here. <laughs> that was our first take. Okay, here we go. That was so funny. On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me a partridge in a pear tree. Beautiful. On the second day of Christmas, my true love gave to me two turtle doves and a partridge in a pear tree. On the third day of Christmas, my true love gave to me three French hens, two turtle doves and a partridge in a pear tree. On the fourth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me four calling birds. <laughs> oh, three <laughs> French hands. <laughs> Two turtle doves. 
and and partridge in a pear tree. On the fifth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me. Sing! on the sixth day of Christmas, my sweet love to me. Six pieces of laying, five golden, five golden rings. That's what I'll tell. Four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves. Oh. <clears throat> and a partridge in a pear tree. Beautiful. On the seventh day of Christmas, my true love gave to me. Seven swans is swimming in the dark. Six feet <laughs> <laughs> Five. Seven <laughs> ring. Four calling birds. Three French hens. Two turtle doves. Two turtle doves. We should get a partridge in a pear tree. <laughs> On the eighth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me. Eight maids. Eight maids. Eight maids of milk. Seven swans are swimming in the dark. <laughs> Six geese are laying. Five golden rings. Five golden rings. Four calling birds. Three French hens. And a partridge in a pear tree. <laughs> Get him out the turtle dogs. Yeah, they were, they were busy turtling. <laughs> On the ninth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me. Nine ladies dancing. <laughs> <laughs> Eight mates of milk and oh, seven swans are swimming in the dark. <laughs> Six geese are laying. Five of the rings. Five golden rings. Four turtle doves. Two turtle doves. And a partridge in a pear tree. On the tenth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me. Ten lords are leaping. Nine ladies dancing. <laughs> Seven swans are swimming in the dark. Six geese are laying. Six geese are laying. Five, Five gold golden rings. Oh, God. Four calling birds. Three French hens. Two turtle doves. And a partridge in a pear tree. Beautiful. On the eleventh day of Christmas, my true love gave to me. Eleven papers. Eleven loaves are leaping. Ten lords are leaping. Nine Nine ladies are dancing. Eight something. Eight milk something. Eight milkers. milkers. (laughs) Seven swans are swimming in the dark. (laughs) Six (laughs) geese are laying. Four calling birds. Three French hands. Two turtle doves. And partridge in a pear tree. This is the big one. This is the last. This is your last chance to get it right. <laughs> On the twelfth day of Christmas, <laughs> my love gave to me twelve drummers <laughs> drumming. <laughs> Ten lords are leaping. 
Nine ladies dancing. Seven one ring is on the floor. What? <laughs> oh, <laughs> <all> the <laughs> <day>. <laughs> Or calling birds. Three friends. And the partridge. in a Beautiful work of art. Let's call everybody. Polished performance. It's going right. It's going right to YouTube. I don't think any of you. I don't think any of you should give up your day jobs. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all for your fun and participation. Awesome. 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 That, together. that was fun. Hi. Uh -huh. Well, in closing, I think uh, Peter and I would like to... Uh, Peter, where are you? Um, I'm here. Wish you all a wonderful Christmas season and a happy new year. And I'm so glad that... Uh, you know, more people should see that we can have fun at this club, right? Oops. So come back soon, and next time bring your friends. Uh, Peter, you get the last word. Oh, really? <laughs> now, that's awesome. I thank you all again for attending, for uh, making this a great evening, and uh, wish you all the very, very best for um, this Christmas for the new year and um, with want to wish all the best for the Rotary E Club of Canada One. We can be proud of ourselves and thank you so much Frank and Barb for uh, coming, joining us and uh, bringing two new members into, uh, into our club. Thank you all very much. Good night. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank, Thank, Thank you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas and Christmas. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Merry Christmas. Welcome, Chris. Welcome, Delwyn. Bye-bye, all. Thank you.